Please explain. You said the devil can't read your mind. Then how are you tempted? Isn't this form in the, in the mind? Then are you saying, if I think evil thoughts, it's, in my own way, it's of my own ways, not of the devil? Well, I can't read your mind, but I can put things in your mind. I'm doing it right now while I'm talking. The devil is a spirit, and he can speak things to your mind, but you, your, your mind is a, a mysterious, miraculous mechanism that he cannot enter into. Only God can do that. He can place thoughts in your mind. He can sometimes study your patterns of behavior and study your expression and see if his temptations are taking root. I can sometimes look at Karen and tell what she's thinking just through studying her over the years. <laughs> but uh, I can't read her mind. And so, yes, the devil can tempt you, but he can't read your mind. Only God. God and God only knows the thoughts of men's hearts. I think that's in um, 1 Kings chapter 8. It's the dedication prayer of Solomon. Okay. If Satan cannot read our minds, then should we pray aloud? Won't that let him know where our weaknesses are? Well, you know, Jesus at one point says, enter into your closet and pray, and your Father who hears you pray in secret will reward you openly. Some have thought, doesn't that mean we should never pray out loud? No, because Jesus prayed out loud too. Jesus was telling us, do not pray out loud to be seen of men. The devil trembles when we pray out loud. And I don't think you want to pray just so others can hear you. You know, I've seen parents do this before. They have prayer with their children. And, you know, they're kneeling there and they're saying, and dear Lord, thank you for watching over little Johnny and help him be a good boy and help him stop pulling his sister's hair. And it's like, are you talking to God or Johnny, right? So you, Stephen. We're Stephen. talking to Stephen. <laughs> so when you pray, make sure you're praying to God and not for the benefit of those listening. I've listened to pastors pray to their congregations. And dear Lord, please help us with our offering so we can finish our building project. And, you know, it's a little subtle subliminal hints in these things. Is, the, when you, is that appropriate for here and Pleasant now? company excluded, of course. <laughs> so, but prayer, you know, nothing wrong with praying out loud, but make sure it's to God. A lot of prayers are recorded in the Bible simply because they were out loud. Uh, but it's okay to pray silently, too. All kinds of prayer. God can hear when you pray in your heart, can't he? Nehemiah prayed standing up within himself when the king said, what do you request in the book of Nehemiah chapter 1? There's one example of that, but there's a number in the Bible. 